Hey guys, I'm Sean from Scala Studio. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I made this animation. So this video was uh, heavily inspired by CG Geeks animation. Although I made a satisfying video animation uh, previously, two three weeks back, but I was doing more animation, trippy animation loop videos. So like this one, but I thought I should do more uh, satisfying videos once i saw the video so let's get on with it so we're gonna start with deleting everything and adding a curves path and tab into edit mode and select that versi and e to extrude and g z with control and move the points and e to extrude i'm going to select all three vertices and Control G to move it up and extrude again, extrude again with E and extrude again and go up and extrude again, extrude again. And as you guys can, uh, you guys can see, I'm pressing Control while I'm pressing G, so that uh, the points, uh, the vertices are snapped. So going to extrude again and move uh, pressing control and I'm gonna move my vertices down and extrude again and move it down so I feel like that's enough the curve now I'm gonna add a cube scale it down scale it in the x axis uh, uh, in the z axis and I'm gonna add a uh, bevel modifier and play with, add about five segments and play with the width uh, and we're going to tab into edit mode and add a few loop cuts with control r and with the uh, with the mouse wheel you can add the number of loop cuts and i'm going to add a curve modifier and i'm going to select the path we just we created and I'm going to select Z axis deform and with pressing G and Z you can move the cube along our path and I'm going to scale it down in the Z axis a bit as well and now I'm going to shift A select all transforms and now I'm going to duplicate my path and go to settings and increase uh, extrude it a bit and increase the depth until it covers the cube and extrude it a bit more as well and increase the depth until it covers our cube I'm not going to add a lot of segments because I'm going to be deleting most of it and now I'm going to uh, right click and I'm going to right click and convert to mesh now it's a mesh now I'm going to delete all the edges that I don't need and add a solidify modifier and play with the thickness a bit and now I'm going and I accidentally deleted that part from the video so I just added a solidify modifier as you guys can see in the right so um, i play with the thickness and now i'm gonna select those two edges and duplicate it and i'm gonna press alt s and scale it and move it in the y axis a bit so and duplicate it and again move it in the y axis so you have shape like this so i'm gonna delete some extra vertices that i don't need that i feel like i won't need and Now, I'm going to save my blend file and now I'm going to add a circle and I'm going to tap in edit mode and select everything and extrude it a bit as well. Let's get it down a bit. I'm going to add a curves modifier and select it, the path and select the Z axis deform and I'm going to place it somewhere in the middle and I'm going to add a solidify modifier to that as well 
and play the thickness and I might add a subdivision surface modifier as well to make the circle curvy I'm gonna increase the subdivisions and add shade smooth and scale it down a bit as well and increase the thickness and uh, tabinate mode and make it a little bit more thicker now I'm going to duplicate it with shift D and move it with Z G Z and duplicate it again move it with G and Z and duplicate it again and move it over there with G and Z and duplicate it again so now I'm gonna select all uh, so you guys can see now with the Z key you can move the cube with G and Z key you can move the cube we're not gonna animate it just yet so I'm gonna add a plane and place it over there and scale it up and now I'm going to duplicate it and rotate it in the y axis 90 degrees and move it somewhere over there now I'm going to duplicate the cube and apply the curves modifier and now I'm going to object origin and scale that cube with shift Z so that it won't scale in the z-axis now I'm going to select the uh, plane and add a boolean modifier and select our duplicated cube and apply the boolean modifier and I'm going to delete the duplicated cube I'm going to edit mode and selecting those edges and I'm going to extrude them up extrude them a little bit more and it looks a bit uneven so I'm going to just eyeball it and I'm going to extrude it again and move it down I'm going to bevel those edges with Control B and I'm going to add shade smooth and normals and auto smooth and I'm going to do the same thing to the top plane as well so I'm going to duplicate the cube apply the curve path and I'm going to add the origin to the geometry so it didn't work that time I'm going to select the cube and select the cube and set the origin to the geometry and add, select the plane add a boolean modifier and select the cube and apply it, delete the cube and select those vertices extrude it up extrude again extrude again move it back and all transforms just in case I'm gonna add my camera I'm gonna place it with control all zero I'm gonna add another plane and scale it up but I'm gonna leave the camera over there and I'm gonna add shades mode to the cube now I'm gonna add the materials I'm gonna add a metal shader Increase the metallic and uh, decrease the roughness to about 0.1 and add the same material to all those circles as well. And I'm gonna add a material to the ground, going to shading and 
create a new material and add a bump node plug it to the normal and add a nice texture plug the color to the height and control T when if you have the node wrangler add-on enabled and select object the vector I'm going to choose pick a random color and I'm going to scale it up quite a bit about 120 for now might increase it later decrease the strength to about 0 0.2 for now might change it later though uh, might play with the scale a bit now I'm gonna add another shader just a pure white shader I'm gonna select uh, these faces control plus plus to select them assign them and make it white scale it up increase the power to about thousand make the world settings black Rotate the lamp bit. I'm gonna download an HDRI from HDRI Heaven, and I'm gonna download the 4K version of it, and. Decrease the strength to about 0.1 and rotate the lamp a bit more. And I'm gonna move play with my camera again. I'm gonna press N and select view and lock into camera and I'm going to enable the blooms, screen space reflections and ambient occlusion on now I'm going back to shading and I'm going to add materials for the other planes I'm going to increase the nice texture scale to about 500 and yeah that looks good now I'm going to select the plane and add a new material and I'm going to add A color ramp and a musgrave texture and plug it to the base color and add the color ramp in between increase the scale to about 9 and drag those colors closer I'm going to change the colors we have set pick the color with the color picker and Pick the color in the ground plane from the color picker and I'm going to change one color to a bit dark shade of the same color. I'm going to add the same material to the other plane and I'm going to add a different plane, a different material to the cube. I'm going to make increase subsurface scattering and make the subsurface color red as well. So it has the light scattering all over the image and I'm gonna add some light probes I'm gonna increase it I'm gonna add another light probe and make sure it's inside our scene and I'm gonna bake our lighting to the scene and you guys can see it looks a bit better now now I'm gonna animate our cube 
so I'm gonna move it to the first frame and make it 100 frames and I'm gonna make, move it with GZ and add a keyframe I and move 70 frames and G Z and move it down and add another keyframe with I now I'm gonna animate my camera yes and see it's moving pretty fine now I'm gonna pick my camera or select my camera and move it up and add a keyframe or not I'm gonna wait, move it down and add a keyframe at the 70th frame and go back to the frame and zoom in a bit with GY and add a keyframe and I'm going to animation I'm gonna pick duplicate it with shift D and move it to the 100th frame and as you guys can know the previous videos we always had the animation interpolation to um, linear but to this one we're gonna make it busier so select all the keyframes and right click and make it busier so we have that natural effect in the camera so this is the animation so far So I'm gonna uh, add the same noise texture to the other wall textures as well. So you guys can see the same pattern going on on the walls as well. So I'm gonna add, uh, I'm gonna make the indirect lighting again and add an output path and uh, render my animation. So what I did was I created a separate material for the same cube and rendered it separately. So this is the node setup for that. All I did was I added two principal BSD shaders and, and a mix shader and a Warner texture and a mapping node and an object node and I made it Manhattan and I controlled the intensity of those diamonds with a color ramp of the Warner texture made in metallic and the other one is just a sub, uh, sub increased subsurf uh, cube material so that's the material so it's I changed the material and rendered those two uh, those two separately and I pasted it both together with Premiere Pro so that's it guys for this tutorial hope you guys enjoyed it so let me know in the comments below what kind of tutorials you guys want me to do more trippy or more satisfying animations or more character tutorials. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys. See you.